Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are reviewing the one of, one of the new fragrances from Solanotes Amand, the Almond Scent. This was released, I believe, late 2021. I'm excited to review it for you guys. So if you'd like to know what I think about this fragrance, then keep on I, 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 I bought this. I was excited to buy this. I love Solanotes. I've pretty much own everything, I believe, except for Freesia. I need to track that one down. I will link all of my other previous Solanotes videos below if you are so inclined to check them out. Now, Solanotes is an affordable fragrance brand. They pride themselves on beautiful scents at an accessible price, and they are great for layering and blending. Generally, the, the note of Solanotes is really what you smell. So if it says vanilla, yuzu, orange, uh, white tea, generally that's what you will smell, but sometimes their fragrances are more inspired and less literal. And this is one of those fragrances. So if you're looking for something that smells like almond, this this, this isn't it, but that's not a bad thing. So we're gonna be reviewing this. Um, you have passion fruit, almond, jasmine, tonka bean, sandal, and vanilla, sandalwood and vanilla. Now, one thing I will say about, that I've noticed about the tonka note that Solo Notes uses, I find it to be very powdery, borderline on like baby powder, baby wipes kind of smell. I love that. To me, it smells like the top of a fresh, cleaned infant head. I know like sniffing babies just sounds so bizarre, but there's just something so delicate and so beautiful about, about that smell. And that's what their Tonka smells to me when I smell it or smell it on my skin. It's a smell that I really love. I love the top of baby head smell. It's just one of my weird little quirks but I love it. However, if you don't like those more kind of like sweet, musky, almost powdery notes, you might not like this fragrance or any of the fragrances that have a predominant Tonka note in Solo Notes. I just wanted to let you guys know that. The reason why I'm saying that is Amand or Almond does have a blend of everything. The passion fruit in this is more in the opening. It's more of a bright juiciness and then it's gone on my skin at least. It's really only there in the opening, the first like 20 to 30 seconds. I get a lot of sweet softness from the tonka and a little bit from the sandalwood the first 20 to 30 minutes. The almond and vanilla aren't present and upfront. I wish the almond was upfront but they're more in the background as something soft and sweet and delicious and sexy. The almond is more of an almond flavor, like if you were to smell almond extract, it's not like a nutty almond, something earthy, savory, or salty. It's not like a woody almond or it's not like a marzipan. It's just kind of like a true almond and it gets its sweetness and its creaminess from the vanilla, which is really nice. I will say that I like the jasmine in this a lot. The jasmine is very green and bright and crisp very fresh jasmine, a little bit musky, and it pairs really nicely with everything else. I will say that this borderlines more on a white floral fragrance that has gourmand nuances to it, and I like the woods and just, just the tonka in here is really nice. It adds like a soft, powdery, sweet, delicate elegance to this fragrance. It's very pretty, but at the same time, I do like that there is a almond note that you can smell in the background from start to finish. So there is almond in here that you can pick up. I do wish it was a little bit more loud and proud. The way that this fragrance smells, I don't think a marzipan note would have been smart. I think it would have cheapened it. I think if they had went with a more kind of, more kind of woody almond note, like really amped up, like something a little bit more aromatic in almond, it could have been really, more punchy as this is almond but at the end of the day as just an inexpensive fragrance to wear on your skin it's very pretty there's something about it that i find to be very mature and it's very beautiful i'm not going to say it's identical because in no way is it identical to scent from above from dolly parton but it does have that same cozy kind of a hug from somebody you love that's a very sophisticated glamorous person um, it kind of has that feel to it. It feels very glamorous, very sophisticated, and very kind of like done up, but in a more affordable way. And a scent from above in and of itself as a fragrance, it's not expensive for a full bottle. You're spending 60 bucks. 
but if you want something a little bit cheaper, a <laughs> moth is really, really nice. And I, again, I'm not saying that it's the same fragrance, and abs it absolutely isn't, but if you like scent from above, if you like those types of more mature, sophisticated, soft fragrances that has a bit of maturity to it, but still smells like something you could wear every day, I think you might like this scent. It definitely borders on more of a predominant white floral fragrance with sandalwood and gourmand nuances than an almond fragrance that has some nuances of white florals. But I think it's really beautiful and I do enjoy it. As for longevity and projection, it's not too bad, less than my skin, about four to five hours, and its projection is about arm's length. At the end of the day, Amand isn't a successful kind of almond fragrance, but as a scent in and of itself, I find it really beautiful. I do enjoy fragrances like Scent From Above from Dolly Parton, and so this fragrance hits that spot as something that's soft, very feminine, very mature, but there's just a beautiful wearability about it. And again, that powder um, from that Tonka and that beautiful just almond, again, like it's not like a marzipan almond, it's not a woody almond, it's not a nutty almond, but that almond with that vanilla just kind of gives it a soft, delicious sexiness in the background. It's really pretty. It's a great everyday wearable scent. And if you're looking for a mature gourmand scent that you can wear that is not expensive, maybe try this fragrance because it's very affordable and it's something that I've, I've been enjoying wearing actually. It's really nice, but it is not an almond dominant scent. So if that is what you're looking for, this, this ain't it. <laughs> this isn't it because that's what these fragrances are for. The fragrances I think this layers perfectly with from Sola Notes. Most definitely your Tonka. If you want something more powdery, more mature, if you like that, because I love that, um, Tonka is ex excellent. It smells so good. It smells so good. I also really like vanilla if you want it more gourmand, more delicious, more sexy. And I think that those two are really good. A little spritz of yuzu, just a little bit, just, just a touch of yuzu works really well too. It adds a little bit of a brightness to the passion fruit. The passion fruit makes it last a little bit longer and it adds a little bit of flirtiness to it. Just, but just a little bit. If you overdo the yuzu, it throws off the balance and it doesn't smell as nice. But if you do like a half a spritz of yuzu and like two spritzes of this, it smells really, really good. Also, <laughs> off brand, if you want to smell a little bit more almond, whipped almond from Mix bar with this actually smells really, really, really nice too. Those two, these two go together really, really good. The two new almond fragrances. So that's my blending recommendations for Amand from Solo Notes. But at the end of the day, this is a beautiful, it really is a gorgeous scent, especially if you like those mature scents, if you like those soft, powdery, sophisticated fragrances, if you like white florals that are a little bit more crisp, a little bit more bright, and if you like the idea of a sensual gourmand fragrance that isn't too in your face, I think this is worth checking out. This isn't going to smell like some groundbreaking fragrance at the end of the day. This isn't going to smell like some fragrance that's one of those like high quality dupes like, oh my gosh, this smells like a $500 bottle of perfume. I don't know why people aren't jumping on it. This, this smells just like a nice, pretty perfume. And when I review fragrances, I like to review perfumes against their same price point, the same types of brands. I'm not going to review a luxury niche fragrance against a body mist I'm not going because I don't think that's fair to either you know and so when I'm reviewing fragrances like Sola Notes Amon I'm reviewing it against houses like Pacifica houses like Mix Bar and other fragrance houses are like Demeter like those fragrance houses that are affordable accessibly priced and have really good ideas of how to market fragrances not just to wear on their own but to blend and mix and have fun with so I do have a high um, expectation for those brands within those brands. Obviously there's some brands from some perfumes from those houses that I find to be not nearly as good and other ones to be amazing. So when I look at Amand from Sola Notes, how it fits with other fragrances within the Sola Notes house and these, I find this to be up there because I like something to smell more mature, more sophisticated, more elegant because there's so many fresh fragrances out there. There's so many fragrances that smell like lemon, like white tea, that smell, you know, like, like orange blossom, that smell like this. It's nice to see something that has a little bit more to it. 
So I enjoy that. This isn't going to be for everybody. This is the type of gourmand that some people might not like, especially if you are turned off by that more kind of powdery note, especially insulin notes. I would definitely see if you could try this, if they have a tester of this at Target or something to do that first, if you, have, if you are so inclined. I haven't tried the body mist, but I have a feeling I'm probably gonna pick up the body mist of this because I think it'll work really well. But at the end of the day, as a fragrance as a whole, I think this just smells really nice and I'm glad I have it. I'm definitely gonna wear it, so. If you've had the opportunity to try this fragrance, do you agree with my review? Do you disagree with my review? Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.